Hi, my name is Lewis Carroll. I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about uh, omega-6 fatty acids and why they think they're just wrong in the body. I mean, you have to have them. It's, it's an essential, but uh, you certainly don't need too much of it. Uh, what we should be doing is eating, you know, at least a 2 to 1 or 3 to 1 ratio of omega-3 fatty acids from fish oil to omega-6 fatty acids, which is found in primarily in corn and nuts and, and vegetable oils. Uh, the reason why is because of uh, the rise in systemic inflammation. Omega-6 fatty acids are considered pro-inflammatory. They directly increase cyclooxygenase 1 and cyclooxygenase 2, uh, which are uh, enzymes that convert by oxidation arachidonic acid into prostaglandins, inflammatory prostaglandins. So it brings up systemic inflammation. You need a certain amount of inflammation when, you're, when you've been working out and your muscles are damaged and, and uh, that type of thing, but you certainly don't need it if you don't have anything to repair. If you're, if you're eating lots and lots and lots of omega-6 fatty acids, like most of us are, uh, who are consuming this typical Western diet, you're going to be creating a high level of systemic inflammation when there isn't really a necessarily a need for it. And what we don't want is we don't want your T cells attacking your joints. So if you have joint issues, if you are suffering from rheumatoid arthritis or just uh, regular arthritis or you have joint pains, knee pains, and you're thinking that it's just wear and tear, you're thinking, hey, I played football back when I was younger, or I played tennis, or I did this or that, or I danced a lot uh, in ballet, and you wore out your joints, that's probably not true. Um, this may sound as a shock, but it's probably due to systemic inflammation, due to being on the wrong type of diet. When your joints get attacked by your own immune system, your joints will fail eventually. And this is what's happening. This is something that was discovered by Stanford University researchers back in 2011. Uh, joint deterioration seems to come directly from a bad diet, not from wear and tear. So, um, and there's another bad thing about eating too much omega-6 fatty acids. It's a direct inhibitor, or an indirect inhibitor of testosterone. Uh, the thing is, in order to make testosterone, you have to first, you start with cholesterol. Cholesterol is the precursor for basically all of the steroid hormones. So cholesterol has to be brought into the Leydig cells for conversion into testosterone. And if you are on the wrong diet and getting too many omega-6 fatty acids, then you've, you're going to have a uh, too high a level of cyclooxygenase 2. Cyclooxygenase 2 uh, tends to increase another inhibitory protein that I'm going I'm to call DAX1, DAX1. That will inhibit steroidogenic acute response protein, which is a carrier that you need to bring cholesterol from outside of the cell membrane into into the Leydig cell so that it can be converted into you know, pregnenolone, progesterone, androstenedione, and, and testosterone. And eventually you can get estradiol out of that and DHT. But th that whole process, that the, the, the enzymatic process that the Leydig cells uh, do to make your testosterone, your precious testosterone, starts with bringing the raw material into the Leydig cells. And that's what steroidogenic acute response protein does, and that's what you're going to inhibit when you eat too many omega-6 fatty acids. Um, and I'll tell you where you should be. You should be right around 1,500 milligrams a day, I think. That's just my own personal theory, but I think that's the limit for the human body. It's not enough to be in balance. If, if you say, well, I'm, I'm getting 20,000 milligrams of omega-6 fatty acids, but I'm getting 40,000 milligrams of fish oil. Okay, so you're at a 2 to 1 ratio, but that's still too many omega-6 fatty acids. You'll still probably have an out of control, uh, you know, you'll have too much uh, systemic inflammation, even though you've got the right ratio. You just can't get too much of this stuff. I, I've already tested it myself and, and been a human guinea pig to figure this out, but so I had to, I had to know for sure. But you, I think you really got to limit yourself to uh, 1,000 or maybe 1,500 milligrams per day of omega-6s, and then make sure you're getting at least two to four times more of that in omega-3s, which comes from fish oil. Uh, omega-6 fatty acid consumption in excess has been linked to arthritis, has been linked to cancer. Um, and you'd be surprised how many, what kind of foods, you know, uh, what kind of foods you really can't eat too much of. Primarily, you're going to find those omega-6 fatty acids in uh, nuts, corn, 
and vegetable oils. So if you're eating salads and you're sprinkling all kinds of safflower or corn oil, you know, or uh, vegetable oils on your salad, you know, as a salad dressing, you're not doing yourself any favors. A salad, these, these salad dressings, you know, uh, vegetable oils is what I'm talking about, are just loaded with omega-6 fatty acids. For instance, uh, one ounce of olive oil. You know, I'm sure everybody's, you know, everybody out there thinks olive oil is just great for you. Well, I don't think so. It's got a 12 to 1 ratio. It's, it's uh, 12 times higher in omega-6s than it is in omega-3s. One ounce of olive oil has got 2,734 milligrams of omega-6s. And you're already over your limit just with one ounce. You know, you're over your daily limit. Uh, oatmeal, just one ounce of oatmeal, for instance, has got about 600 some odd uh, uh, milligrams of, of omega-6s. Um, and who eats an ounce? I mean, an ounce is a very small amount. Uh, nuts, uh, for instance, almonds. People think almonds are good. Well, almonds are good for you, except for that that one bad thing. They're loaded with omega six fatty acids. Therefore, I don't touch them. Uh, you know, an ounce of almonds has got three thousand three hundred and seventy eight milligrams of omega six fatty acids, and an ounce is probably ten or fifteen almonds. That's not very much. It's less than a handful. Uh, corn is is loaded up with omega six fatty acids. Uh, a cup of corn would have uh, 3,481 grams. It's huge. Uh, coconut oil doesn't seem to be so bad. It, it certainly doesn't have much in the way of omega-3s, but it uh, doesn't have much in the way of omega-6s either. You know, an ounce of that would be about 514 uh, grams of, uh, of omega-6s. Omega but as a rule, I think that vegetable oils are to be avoided. I don't think the human body is really designed to eat oils vegetable oils, we just, we're not. And that would include anything that's fried in vegetable oils, such as french fries, tater tots, uh, onion rings, or, you know, anything else. You know, like, let's say uh, fried corn uh, tacos. That's the worst. It's fried, and it's a corn product. And corn and vegetable oils and nuts, I think, are the worst offenders. And uh, you're going to give yourself a lot of joint problems, and you're going to limit your testosterone. So if you have joint issues, that would be the first place you'd want to start, is eliminate this high consumption of omega-6 fatty acids in order to alleviate uh, your knee issues. If you have knee issues, for instance, I had knee issues. I got it reversed. I reversed it with a time machine and with uh, getting my diet right. And I've, I had to learn the hard way that, um, that knees and cartilage, unlike what the medical professionals will tell you, can repair. It took a year. I went from bad knees and being told that I needed a knee replacement surgery to lunging 500 pounds on these same so-called bad knees. Um, I don't, they don't hurt at all. I don't feel them anymore at all. But I got off the omega-6 fatty acids and I, I got my diet right and I enhanced my uh, hormones with, uh, with the time machine. So it, they can come back. Uh, I. I also experienced uh, arthritis in my shoulders, and, uh, and that, that went away. So apparently, omega-6 fatty acids affects uh, what I call the synovial joints, which is uh, the larger joints, elbows, uh, knees, any, anything that uses synovial fluid is a lubricant, so that would include shoulders and knees and, and ankles and things like that. So um, omega-6 fatty acids are not something you want to get too much of, so in summary, I'll just say that you need to stay at 1,500 milligrams or less. Uh, not much less than a thousand. You need some, but you just don't need that many. And try to get two to three times that in omega threes from fish oil. And let me say something else about the fish oil. Make sure you get something that is molecularly distilled. Um, well, basically, you want it cleaned of uh, mercury. So I wouldn't buy the cheapest fish oil that you can find because uh, if you're not sure what the mercury content is, uh, you don't want to poison yourself with mercury. So. Uh, Molecularly distilled, what I mean by that is um, under, under uh, low pressure, things boil at a lower temperature. So what these manufacturers will do that are producing this kind of a product is that they will warm up the fish oil, put it in a vacuum, and therefore the fish oil will tend to boil at a very low heat so that they're not destroying the omega-3 uh, fatty acids. And then the oil will rise up in a gaseous form and be condensed in another container. 
well, the heavy, heavy mercury doesn't make it out of the first container, and so that's how they clean it from the mercury. So that's the best kind to get. And it's also more concentrated. You'll find that the omega-3 fatty acid level in the oil itself is actually much more concentrated. So it's, it's, a, better, it's a better way to go. So if you take fish oil, make sure you get a decent kind. Um, so that's what I wanted to say about omega-6 fatty acids. I personally don't like too many of them. And thanks for watching.